Tonight, a local city worker is killed on the job. It's a story we've been following since it first broke on WPRI.com this morning. The water department employee was struck by a minivan while working on Route 152 in Attleboro near Bayberry Hill Road. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has been at the scene all day long. He joins us now from Attleboro with new information on the victim and the driver. The passenger side fender and windshield of the minivan is caved in, and the damage to the city truck shows you where the two vehicles collided. 35-year-old Jeffrey Burgess was caught in the middle. The sturdy metal tool he was using to close a valve on the street about five feet from the curb bent in half. There's witnesses that uh, the investigators are sp still speaking with. Um, uh, all I can tell you right now is that there, is, uh, there was traffic that was stopped in the opposite uh, travel lane. Uh, so I'm sure that, uh, you know, I'm just speculating that I'm sure that there were some people who saw the vehicle approaching. This city worker is doing what Burgess was trying to do about 8 this morning. 58-year-old Nakwa was heading home to Pawtucket from her job in Taunton. The city truck's amber safety light was on, according to police, and Burgess was wearing a fluorescent green safety vest. But there are no apparent skid marks before the point of impact. Burgess was a 10-year city employee and the father of a 2-year-old. His father retired last year as the Water Department Superintendent. That was Walt Buteau reporting, and we'll have more from Walt in a live report at 6 o'clock.